I have the three-year awamori, some white grapefruit juice. I'm gonna add a little bit of coffee. Give it an ounce of that. This is where it's gonna get weird. Mm. An egg? Just the white. Last but not least, we have to garnish. We express the oils over the top. Whoa. Ready? Kali. Oh. Fantastic. Seven experts from seven different countries have been handpicked to visit Okinawa to share its secrets with the rest of the world. In this episode, Josh, a mixologist from San Francisco, learns how to distill awamori, a spirit made only in Okinawa. It's always exciting to see a distillery that has a small and independent family feeling to it. We find these products that are made by real human beings and they become artisans because that's what this product is. That's what spirits of this nature are. They're true reflections of people socially and culturally sort of expressed through liquid. So this is the Aomori Distillery. Yep. Hey. And he's the president of Oshiro-san. The taste of the awamori is unlike any spirit that I've ever tried. In this case, it was incredibly clean, lots of floral notes, really creamy mouthfeel, and over time, through the aging, they lose some of the aggression that are on the younger spirits. So I have a couple questions. How many liters of awamori do they produce at this facility every year? <laughs> One and a quarter million 700 mLs in a year. Can you ask him what percentage alcohol this is? You also ask him if there are rules about proof. Is it a natural source that they use? What is it that it gains from the aging? How does it change? What makes it different? Is anything added to this? Why, how, what is it? <laughs> Never in all of my distillery travels have I ever seen a facility that creates by hand from scratch its own bottling vessels. You guys want to try to make a pottery? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Your calves are too strong. I make it the drum and ray, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. And Josh, you have to stay here and then learn how to make aomori. Okay? I'm ready. Yeah. The process of aomori starts off just like many other spirits where they take the raw material and they have to treat it a certain way. Like this? Yes. This so the Thai long grain rice gets fed into a washing bin. It then gets filtered. Eventually, enough of those get transported over to a really large steamer. True. Got it. After that, a lot of sort of turning, mixing gets transferred over to a custom device that blows the steam out the top. And we transport that over into this back room and we add the black koji mold. It was almost ritualistic how this mold got layered in. So now the rice and the mold, they're gonna go to sleep. So, are you ready for the challenge? What's the challenge? So, first, you have to teach the rest of the team how to make the perfect cocktail with the awamori. Okay. And we're going to choose the winner. You and me? Yeah. Okay. Oh! What's up, guys? What's up, man? 
Welcome to paradise on this rooftop. So let's take a seat. So we're gonna do a quick little tutorial about making cocktails with awamori. I'm gonna give you one formula that you guys can use. With alcohol, you use two parts. With citrus, you use one part. And with any of these types of sugars, you use a half a part. Two, one, half. So after you get this formula, you can look at all these different ingredients that we have. We're gonna make it real easy. Dose, dose, dose. You each have 10 minutes and go. What? <laughs> Question down. What about these? Ball. I find them ugly. I don't want to have something like that. I take a half, yeah? I want to have pineapple and I want to have coffee in my drink. Pineapple. Because I like it. Hey guys, 30 seconds left. Make it count. Yeah, just like Four, that. Four, three, two, Hands one. Up. Hands up, drinks down. <laughs> All right, guys, you're gonna come over, present your cocktails. France, UK, you're up first. So this is our green paradise. Green paradise, huh? Yeah. All in all, the drink is refreshing and it is ideal for a rooftop. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have you ever been to Canada? No. <laughs> Have you been to Russia? No. Have, Have you ever, ever been, been to, to Okinawa? Okinawa? Yes. We present you the Okinawan Kanasha. <laughs> Good play. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. And the final team. All right. We got a big size cocktail yeah. from Muscle Man. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a winner. Shogun and I unanimously agree that the team fighting out of the corner of France and the UK with their cocktail, Green Paradise, are the grand champions of this rooftop cocktail challenge. What's your favorite cocktail? Let us know in the comments below. In the next episode, Russian dancer and model Maria learns how to move her body Ryukyu style. And if you missed the previous episode, join Maureen on her journey to discover the recipe to living a long life. Hit the subscribe button to keep up with the whole series and visit the website for more information.